Hello everyone, today we are reporting from Greece, the very heart of Western civilization and home to some of the world's most iconic sculptures. It's a fitting backdrop for our topic today, an exploration of Western versus Eastern standards of male beauty. Hit that subscribe button and let's journey through time and across continents. Let's start with ancient Greece. The ideal man was the epitome of physical strength and athleticism. Tall, muscular, with well-defined muscles. They're immortalized in the sculptures around me. This Greek ideal has seeped into the very fabric of Western society and indeed forms the basis of the American standard of male beauty today. Fast forward to modern America. The echoes of Greek ideals are palpable. American men are portrayed as muscular, large, and rugged. Think of Hollywood action stars like Chris Hindler, Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, and all the Chris's. Their images are consistent reminders of what is considered masculine and attractive. Conversely, let's traverse the East, specifically focusing on the Eastern or Asian standard of male beauty. Here a different aesthetic prevails, one that favors intellect, character, and social status. Traditionally, the desirable traits have been pale skin, smaller physiques, and refined facial features. In today's context, the K-pop aesthetic is a perfect embodiment of these Eastern ideals. Bands like BTS and EXO represent a beauty standard that embraces slender physiques, sharp features, and an emphasis on fashion and skincare. However, here's where we encounter a significant cultural divergence. The K-pop aesthetic so popular in Asia is often not considered as attractive in Western societies, especially in the USA. There are men who adopt a K-pop aesthetic with slender bodies, fashion forward hairstyles, and meticulous grooming often find themselves at odds with the American preference for ruggedness, size, and muscularity. This discrepancy has a profound impact on Asian immigrants in America. They find themselves having to navigate these contrasting beauty standards after facing prejudice and stereotypes due to differing aesthetic ideals. This can lead to a challenging struggle with self-identity and self-esteem. It's important to realize that these standards of beauty are deeply rooted in our cultural norms that are taught and very dramatically around the world. In the West, the emphasis on physical strength and size can be traced back to Greek ideals of civic virtue and valor. In the East, the focus on intellect and character has historical roots in social hierarchy and scholarly prestige. So if you're an Asian man watching this and feel constrained by the Eurocentric standard of beauty, know that you are not alone and that there are more forms of valid masculine sexuality than just America. Be sexy because you're an Asian man not in spite of being Asian. So where do you stand on this? How do you perceive these contrasting genders of beauty? Have you ever felt the pressure of conforming to a certain aesthetic? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful discussions. Until next time, from Ancient Greece, this is JT Tran, signing off. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too, every Monday we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.